Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I don't have a ton of time for an intro. I'm getting ready to go to breakfast with my dad. Today's Father's Day. So I thought I would take you through and just quickly show you how I get ready when I don't have a lot of time using some of my favorite products. So let's get into it. I already primed, so that step is out of the way. And I'm going to actually be using the new Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator. I've been loving that. I actually filmed the video, lost a bunch of footage, so I had to scrap the video, but I'm gonna use it today, and I have used it several times. It's gorgeous. I think I got it in medium tan. There aren't a ton of shades, so that's the only thing that's kind of a bummer. It's pretty sheer coverage, but you can build it up to a light coverage. I haven't tested to see if I can get to a medium. First, I'm gonna start out with my brows today. I'm gonna use the Maybelline Tattoo Studio um, Brow Pomade, and I use it in deep brown, and I'm gonna use my Morphe M158. I have been loving this brow brush. I used to use E29, I think, but this one is like so small and so pre precise. I absolutely love this. Normally I would use my gut to be spiking gel, but today I just don't have time. So I'm just gonna lightly fill in and probably use just a brow gel on them today. I'm going to clean the brows up with the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer. And this is more like my skin tone shade, but I like to use this to clean the brows up with. I just put a little bit on my brush. And then I'm just going to take my e.l.f. Wow Brow Gel, I believe this is called, and uh, this one's in Brunette. And I'm just going to comb this through the brows to set them. Just going in with the Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator in Medium Tan. This is amazing. It holds up pretty well in the heat. It does transfer onto a mask, but not horribly. And it comes in a little squeezy tube. It doesn't have a pump. So I just put it on my fingers and then I dot it on my face. I'm just gonna go in with my favorite concealer, one of my favorites, the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer, and I'm going to use the shade Classic Beige today. And then I'm just gonna use one of my favorite setting powders. This is from the Shop Miss A website. This is only a dollar. The AOA Studio Perfect Setting Powder in the shade Brightening. This is amazing. It is not super drying on the skin. It's just so smooth, so light. I just absolutely love this. I can't believe it's only a dollar. I have several backups just in case.
I love the way this sets my lids because even though I have super dry skin, my lids are really creasy, kind of oily. I recently got the Burt's Bees blush in toasted cinnamon, so I'm gonna use this today. I've never really used any Burt's Bees makeup, I don't believe, maybe like their chapstick or something. I really love the shade of this so far. This formula is really nice. It's not super pigmented off the bat, so you can kind of build it up. Now I'm just gonna go in with my Milani Baked Blush. This is in the second shade. Beautiful, love this. I love the gold sheen it has to it. It looks so pretty when I have a tan. I recently got this Profusion Highlight and Contour Palette. I love this. The highlighters are beautiful in it. I did not see any other shades, like if they had a, a medium shade or deeper shades. I didn't see that in the Walmart that I was in, so I'm hoping that they have a few more selections in this. I'm just gonna take the two highlighters in here and mix them together put them on my cheeks and I'm gonna use the same brush that I used for my blush. With the same palette, I'm just gonna go in with this light kind of pinkier highlighter and put it on the inner corner with a more fluffier brush. And then for mascara, I'm going to layer the Essence False Lash Mascara Extreme Volume and Curl. And then I go over it with the CoverGirl um, Clump Crusher Mascara. Love this to go over mascaras to get any clumps out. I'm going to go in with the CoverGirl one. And it's more of a dry formula, so it doesn't add too much to the lashes. I love the silicone wand on this because it just combs through the lashes really well. It does add more to your lashes, but not so much that you can't layer it. I usually just use this alone on the bottom. So for lips, I'm gonna go in with the LA Colors Lip Liner. These are a little bit more of a dry pencil, but if you don't really care about that and you just want something to give you a little color on the lips, you want it to last. I love this one. This is in the shade Natural and I found it at either Family Dollar or the Dollar Tree. I'm just gonna basically fill my whole lips in with this, throw a little gloss on and I'm pretty much good to go. These aren't like an uncomfortable dry formula but they're just not as creamy as some of the other lip liners I've used. I could probably just leave this lip liner on its own because it's so pretty, but I recently got a lip gloss that I've been obsessed with. It's the Maybelline Lifter Gloss in the shade Silk. These are so pretty and they're like a comfortable formula. However, a lot of product gets onto the applicator, so just be mindful of that. So I just take the tip of the applicator and I kind of wipe it off on the inside. Okay guys, I'm not gonna use any setting spray because I'm in a rush. I don't normally use setting spray, but thank you guys for watching. Sorry this video was so rushed. I hope you guys have a good day or night wherever you are. I'll see you in my next video.